urban change uh, is something that's right at the uh, edge of what Landsat can show because the kinds of change you want to see require something of a little higher resolution in some cases. Uh, but there are some cases that are so dramatic that uh, Landsat works for them, and, and Las Vegas is is a case, uh, and uh, particularly for the last 10 years, Las Vegas was the fastest growing city in the U.S. And this is out in the middle of the desert where, of course, they have no water without the Colorado River, the Hoover Dam, and Lake, Lake Mead. And so it's, uh, it's problematic, and, and Phoenix is also another city that's been growing almost as fast, and both cities have been dealing with this water issue, uh, fighting over it and allocation of the Colorado River. Las Vegas has actually made quite a few good strides towards dealing with it, uh, managing their water much better. Uh, and maybe it's because they have Lake Mead right next door and it's going down and they have a, a real reminder. But you can see just from 1999 through the current time here in the time machine how the change in the size of the city uh, is quite dramatic. The population is quite dramatic. And at the same time, you can watch Lake Mead shrinking. Now, that's not because they're drinking more water in Las Vegas. It's because of droughts in the Rocky Mountains and so on. But that supply, uh, it's a real reminder that they uh, are relying on water that comes from someplace else. And they're living beyond their means, in a sense. The urban footprint in Landsat data shows up as a, as a gray, concrete sort of looking thing uh, with, of course, vegetation mixed in with it. And that's true in most any city. They have parks and golf courses and so on. In Las Vegas, uh, that contrasts with the surroundings in two ways. One, the gray urban footprint, of course, stands out uh, in relation to the desert surrounding it. But the vegetation also stands out because there is no vegetation surrounding the area except for irrigated agriculture. So you can see the grow, growing gray and green footprint through the years from 1999 to 2012 um, as Las Vegas just dramatically grows. And then uh, they've sort of hit the wall economically, as we all know. Uh, but the bigger issue is, is maybe hidden by that fact. That's what the point of discussion is right now. But, but water is looming in kind of the same way. You know, over, over allocating water that they don't have is, is maybe kind of a, an analogy from the uh, financial concerns that people dealt with, the, the real estate boom and so on. Um, and sustainable uh, use of the water. Is, is a real big issue throughout the Southwest, but Las Vegas has really has begun to deal with this uh, re fairly successfully in the last few years.